Hey guys, it's the WAP here with a little DIY video. Behind this purple drywall is another bedroom and I needed to try and cut down some of the noise between the two bedrooms. So I gutted this closet over here and I put up this Soundbrake Gypsum XP and it's supposed to cut down on this sound of the noise passing between the two rooms. It has a special caulking you put in the corners. You're supposed to leave about a quarter inch gap and that caulking is supposed to kind of acoustically suspend this drywall and stop the noise from coming through. Here's a little piece of it over here. This is for the 5 8 inch material. Here's a side view. So what you'll see is it's got two layers of quarter inch plywood, excuse me, two, two layers of quarter inch gypsum board, and in the center is a layer of this proprietary material which is supposed to stop noise from coming through. So I'm getting ready to put it over here on this framing I've got established. I'm blocking this door off because I don't need it anymore. And you can see where I've got some of the material in the, in the wall. And so this is all cut off and then the, dry, the drywall is going to come over this. If you'll notice there's a gap here between the wall and this product. Again, it's going to, I'm going to fill it up with this grabber acoustical sealant and that's supposed to stop it. Now you, you, put, you put it down first and then you put the product up against it and it smashes and then I'll kind of come down here and do all the framing with a, with a bead of this caulking and that'll keep the, uh, the, the, the gypsum board in suspension, a sound suspension theoretically as best I understand how all this works. And again, here's a side view of the product. Here's what it looks like up front. And there's a view from the top. And the acoustical sealant that I'm using is Grabber Construction Products. And it's the acoustical sound and smoke sealant. So, and if you're reading this in a foreign country, there are some other languages it's in. <laughs> so, that's it. I'll give you another view when this is finished. So I've got the drywall in here on my closet now. This was the wall I was doing earlier. And you can see here, it's done up to the top. And come all the way down. So that's it. Next thing to do is get the drywall finished and painted and then get some shelving in here. And then after I get the shelving in, put some doors on this closet over here and then put a door on this closet here. All right, that's the wall for now. So a little progress report on my room here. I've been building a closet and it's getting the door framed in. I'm getting it covered up. And then this other closet, I've been getting the drywall mud done on it. And so it's ready for paint. Now I did a little different here on these vertical seams. You normally tape and mud them, so this one's taped and mudded. But if you notice, this is real narrow. So what I did here is I actually just cut out with a uh, razor knife the edge of this, both sides, and then I just filled it with mud. They say not to do this because it'll crack. So we'll find out. This is inside a closet because I only put really one coat of uh, mud on here. Normally I put about three. But I did this one just a little bit different and it came out pretty good. And this is the other part of the closet. So I'll be getting ready to put shelves in here. 
And I did this a little different as well, because if you'll notice, I wrapped it in plywood and wood instead of drywall, because there's so many corners here. You got a, one corner here, you got an inside corner, outside corner, another outside corner, another outside corner, an inside corner, two more inside corners, and that's just so much. Uh, drywall sanding gosh and you know and here on my vertical seam i just filled this i didn't even take mud it because i'm going to put shelving up in here so i'm going to put a shelf a one by four covering this so this will be covered with a one by four so you won't see it so it's filled up and you know some people might take exception to that but I actually put caulk in the corners instead of drywall mud. So that's my progress report. It's the WAP. Till the next time. Hey, it's the WAP back here. I'm going to do a wrap up on this project I've been showing you a little bit of from time to time. I've got it completed now, and here's how it looks. So I've got the closet over here which used to be an entryway into this room and now I've got another closet over here I put new doors up and remodeled and so it came out looking pretty good I, at least I believe so so here's the inside of this closet and hey, we got several shelves in there and so there's a, a good amount of room and so it came out pretty good and then here's my other closet and so i've got some nice sliding doors and i got some beautiful natural pine wood that i stained and polyurethaned and, and then here's the inside of the closet it's got two shelves to hang clothes on and i was telling you about this center strip in here right along here where I didn't do a traditional finish I just kind of just you know gouged out the uh, the joint here in the drywall and just filled it instead of doing the traditional mud and tape and all that and it came out looking pretty good so we'll see if it starts to split it hasn't yet so there it is and the doors, you know, they fit fine. They slide real nice. Just let them go. They just slide. And this fits good. It shuts nice. And I got nice trim on it and nice miter cuts and all. So I'm really happy with the way it came out. And so that's the last on this project. Uh, this is the WAP. Till the next time. One final thing, if you're wondering how the soundproofing drywall worked out, I'm going to do a little sound test for you. The room is right here on the other side of this wall. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the stereo, turn it up really loud. All right, and then we're going to go out here into the hallway. And then when we come into the bedroom where the soundproofing was done, here's what it sounds like. So I'm not sure how the video, how the audio is going to be on this, but you can barely hear it in here. I mean, you got to really listen. If you're talking, you're, the, the, the conversation noise is going to be louder than the noise in the other room. All right, so that's how it turned out.